Welcome to the demonstration video for the Macro Image Manager software. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open the program and log in. And here we'll use a test user. Once logged in, you're immediately taken to a dashboard screen where you can create a patient, create an exam, assign images to an exam, and import new images from the SmartScope. The screen will also show a summary of recent activity, imported images, and things like that. Now we'll go ahead and create a new patient. The Create New Patient screen will allow you to enter patient's information, such as first name, last name, date of birth, gender, MRN or medical record number, EMR patient ID if you have a web-based EMR system, and select whether the patient is to be included on your My Watch list and if the patient is active. And then we'll just go ahead and hit Save when we're done here. We're then taken to a new exam details screen. It's going to have our patient information up top, and then we're going to be able to select clinician, exam date, start finish time, and then we'll just put a description in here, uh, patient in for body mapping. You can add conclusions, and then we'll save and assign images. Now we'll go ahead and capture some images. Uh, first thing we'll show is turning on the illumination just by halfway pressing the button. And then we'll find a lesion on a patient's uh, skin. Go ahead and line it up so that your lesion is in the center. Do your autofocus and then take the image. Once the image is taken, the body map will come up asking what body region. Uh, here you can see we can select from head, torso, left arm, etc. So we can get very detailed on our body map. We'll take one more and uh, different body spots so we can select something different from our body map imaging and at this point we would move on to a different uh, and then we'll dock the scope into the docking station and we'll go back into the software here now that the camera is on the dock we'll be able to import our images by clicking the import images button it'll go in searching for the smart scope uh, once it's found it'll look and see how many files it has to download once uh, the process starts, the images are about two megabytes a piece, so it may take a few seconds for each image uh, to be downloaded to the software. And it'll give you a little progress bar. Once it's uh, finished, it'll come up with a button and you click OK. Now that our images are imported into the software, we'll just uh, click select on each one of these images. And then we'll go to the bottom and we can assign it to a patient and exam. Uh, when you select the patient, it's going to select the most recent exam and click Save and Update Successful and click OK. Okay, now that we've got the images assigned to a patient, we'll just go over to My Watch List, open the patient, and on the right, you're going to see the uh, patient's information, any exams that have been completed uh, down at the bottom. We can go ahead and open the exam or click on it down on the right. Open it by date. Each uh, record will have one date listed. And then uh, if there were multiple exams on one date, you'd also have multiple records there. Uh, here we're going to see the information we entered earlier uh, in the new exam window. So now we'll just drop down the image details window. Um, you can see the two images that we imported. First of all, we'll go to the body map and show you um, the information in the camera that we selected for body map region did come over and auto populate on the body map image. If we click on one of those, we can see the images that we imported for each region. Go ahead and click on one, and it'll take us into editing mode. Here we're going to be able to do a couple of things uh, from an editing standpoint. We can select a new body side and new body region and save that information to our body map. We can also do annotations and measurements. By measurements, we can uh, click on the left-hand side of the lesion on the right, and it'll do an automatic measurement for us. Only the smart scope with the Macro Image Manager software has the ability to do the measurements automatically. Um, and that's because we're going to be at a set zoom rate every time we take an image. Go ahead and save the annotations. And then the other things we can do are a little bit of manipulation. If we needed to help uh, finding the borders, we could uh, kind of mess with some of the saturation, hue, uh, lightness, etc. Uh, one of the other 
interesting tools is the ability to kind of edit the colors. And this gives you a great idea of where the edges and borders are at. And we can just reset. And anything that hasn't been saved onto the image will be reset. Uh, we can also do zooming. And we can zoom in on the um, lesion. Try to get a better sense of uh, where its borders are. We can rotate one degree or 90 degrees. Uh, again, we can just reset to go back to standard. Our flags, we're going to have uh, normal, watch, excised, benign melanoma, or malignant melanoma. Um, if you select one of these, it's going to assign a color code. We'll do one that's a little more bright and red. It's also going to update the image to show the flag. Once we have the uh, flag done, don't have to save it, and it'll automatically save. We can also do side-by-side -side comparisons. If we had a lesion that uh, was from day zero and then we took one uh, 90 days out, we'd be able to look at them side-by-side -side and see if there was any change that's noticeable. Again, since we're using the same brightness level and the same um, zoom level every time, we should be able to get a very good sense of whether anything has changed. The other thing we can also do is, uh, when a patient comes in, do a search. Um, as we get more patients in the software, it's going to become readily apparent that uh, there will be a lot of areas to drop down over on the left uh, with patient names. So we can search, and we'll just do a search for test. It's going to show anything that has uh, the match, and then we can click on that and click on the exam that we want to look at. Uh, we can also find it over on the left here. For exams, um, once you have a patient, you can also click the plus signs to create a new exam. And also, with your uh, exam open, you can click on the plus sign next to the image details to assign images. And lastly, if you assign an image improperly to a patient, you can just uh, click the delete button. And you can either delete the image, you can reassign it to a different patient and exam. Uh, in this case, we don't, let's see, we'll pick another exam here. And you can submit, or you can just remove it and put it back into the unassigned bucket. So.